How you guys doing, man? Krabby Chris back at you guys with another fish video. And today we're going to be checking out the bathtub pond. That's right. I got an update on the bathtub pond. I know it's been a while and I got some good news, but I also got some bad news. So let's get right into it. So here we go. We got the bathtub pond. The bad news is, is there's no more cichlids, guys. I'm sorry, no more cichlids. They all started having babies and it turned into basically a war zone in there. We had a couple pairs on the left side over here having babies, defending their territory, defending their babies. And we had a couple uh, pairs on this side over here defending their babies. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had some rocks on this side and some rocks on this side. So what I did is when I took the cichlids out, I had to take all the rocks out to catch them because it was, it was hard, trust me. There was a lot of cichlids, a lot of babies. And I had to get them all out. So I took all the rocks out, pretty much drained the pond down to it was like a little bit of water and caught all the fish out. And there was a lot. And I basically just took them to my local LFS, which I used to work at. So they took them off my hands, no problem. And um, I picked up some new fish. So the new fish I picked up, it's gonna be hard to see, but I picked up a bunch of goldfish. I was honestly, I was missing the goldfish I used to have in here. There's one right there. So I got some more. Oh, there's a gray aranda right there. We got a little red aranda right there. We got a couple black moors. I don't know if you guys can see them. It's hard to see with the glare. Another orange aranda. Another red top aranda right there. And then we have one pom pom aranda, which I've never seen before. Maybe this guy right here. Little orange guy. I don't know if you guys know what pom poms are, but they have the little, basically little pom poms on their face. They look really cute when they get big. These guys are all kind of small, about inch and a half, two inches. But yeah, they're doing good. All in total, we have, I think there's eight. I have eight goldfish in here, and then a whole bunch of guppies. So I just been throwing the guppies in from all my other tanks in here. All the babies, you see some right there. The pregnant female right there in the middle. Whole bunch of babies over here. So yeah, the tank's doing good. Honestly, I need to clean some of these leaves out. It's like every day I clean it out, then there's a whole bunch of leaves fall back in. But it is what it is. Pond's doing good, it's healthy. Still got the heater in here. I got it set for 76. And right now the temperature is in there is 78. So it'll drop down later to 76 once it gets nighttime. Yeah, man, pond's doing good. The plants have seen better days though, I'm not gonna lie. The pothos is doing amazing. Hanging all the way down here. Underneath the tub and it's even attached to the wall over here which is super cool growing up the wall got it growing all the way down here it's pretty cool but the strawberries not doing so well I think it's been a little too cold out here I mean we got some strawberries on there but it's not doing as good as they were I don't know, man. I think I'm going to end up putting some different plants in here once it gets a little bit hotter. Maybe in about two or three weeks. But yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Since I switched the fish out in here. And I do have the video of me first getting the fish and unboxing them. But it was nighttime, so I might put it in the video. I might not. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Got some algae, the bristle nose in here aren't really doing their part. I mean, they're cleaning it up decently, but still got a lot of green. If you look at the heater, the whole top of the heater is green. The whole big rock right there has a whole bunch of algae on it. But honestly, man, it's good. They like the graze on it, so it's a constant food supply. I'm not really bugging out about it. Yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the pond. 
I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated more frequently now that I got some new fish there and there. It's exciting, you know, watch them grow. I want them to see them get big. And these are probably gonna stay in here forever. Basically, the cichlids, once they start breeding, it was a wrap. I had jewel cichlids in there breeding, um, green terrors in there breeding. I had a whole bunch of stuff and it was just like, and so it just wasn't it just wasn't working out and that's how and that's how it happens with cichlids sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't you know it's trial and error but the goldfish are here to stay so stay tuned i'm gonna keep you guys updated and i got some other stuff going on in the house that you're gonna be excited about i got a new little jar tank that i set up that's gonna be the next video i come out with and then i got some other new fish in the fish room as well so Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Till next time.